pretty bad things happened to me when I was younger that had a significant impact on my drug use. I was sexually assaulted um, and molested from a very young age. We didn't speak about things like that and I didn't know where to go. I didn't know who to talk to. I knew like numbing it felt really good. I've done everything from meth, heroin, pills, pretty much anything that I could get my hands on. I was a full-blown addict. I was IV using, pretty much took over my whole life. My mother was a severe alcoholic, immensely abusive. Grabbed one of my mom's beers when I was like eight years old. I started using methamphetamines at 16. I had my daughter and I got prescribed pain medication. And then my addiction got really bad where I was taking 20 pills a day. Growing up with, you know, your mom and cousins and, you know, we're all using together, my aunt, all of our mental health was very unstable. I've given birth to six children and I lost three of them to the state of New Mexico. I ended up ruining my job due to my substance use. I was broken. I was broken. It was actually kidney stones I was being prescribed pain pills for. It started to be more and more and more and more is never enough. I was in this mess of trying to score constantly. It was like a whirlwind it was just crashing my whole life. I got a DWI and I showed up to my lawyer's office drunk and I started asking friends for money and my work was sliding very, very, very bad. It was definitely hard on my marriage. It affected my son, I think, more than anyone because I was a very neglectful mother. I would either lose my job for calling in or I'd get fired for, you know, showing up drunk. I didn't get help until I got an arrest for a DWI. Opiates, that withdrawal is killer. And that's why people relapse, because they would rather go get high than to sit there through that pain and that agony that you have to deal with. And so when you go into a treatment center and get some Suboxone or Subutex, it makes it so you feel like you're normal. So if I didn't have any medicated assistant treatment, I wouldn't be here. When I tried Suboxone, it really helped me think a lot clearer, kind of get my mental health back on track and not touch opioids again. It's been nine years since I've actually touched an opioid. My son, that's 19, I just started building a relationship with him. And my younger two were taken care of by their grandparents, but I have now regained custody of them. Medically assisted treatment changed everything for me. It was just this realization, the light bulb went off that, wow, like I can just focus on my life. All of that energy and time and everything that I wasted money can all just go towards my life. I can start to build myself from here. Honestly, the best thing that I've ever done was be in recovery. And it does take one person to listen, one provider to also hear that's empathetic and say, hey, let's try something new and let's get you back to where you need to be. Now, after getting sober, I love what I do. I love, you know, the place that I do it for. My marriage is flourishing. My kids respect me more. They see me as somebody who's an overcomer. I achieve things now because of sobriety. Now that I'm in recovery, I can honestly say that I have the best relationship with my family who didn't understand me. All those years of therapy have paid off. My son, he looks at me like I am so resilient, I am so amazing, and you go from being the worst person that you feel like as a parent to being their motivation to do great things. My son wants to be a therapist. Resilience is in human DNA. I never thought I would be where I'm at today with the work that I'm doing. I love being able to give back and help people and guide people in the right direction. I would like to think of us as, you know, we're hope dealers now. Just the fact that we're sitting here before you right now and, and sharing our experiences and our stories and now our successes, recovery is possible. So why not you? Why not you? Why not you?